that causes benign tumors to grow in major organs throughout the body. And an eight-month-old baby is fighting those tumors while her mom fights for her baby's future. KETV News Watch 7's Alex Hoffman is on the Health Watch and introduces us to baby Maya. From the outside, it's hard to tell that Maya Vincent is dealing with so much on the inside. So she was born with tumors in her brain and her heart, mm -hmm. and um, now she has tumors in her kidneys, and she started having seizures when she was four days old. Maya has tuberous sclerosis. One in 6,000 newborns have the disorder. Doctors say it's caused by a gene mutation resulting in overgrown tissues. Mostly manifest in the brain and the skin, but it could potentially affect any organs in the body. Dr. Haman Sapathy, a perinatologist with Methodist Health System, says the disorder can lead to mental health issues, seizures, and skin lesions. He diagnosed Maya when her mom, Cassie Kinney, was just six months pregnant. There's no cure for tuberous sclerosis. The good thing was he was thankful that she was prepared. This is going to come. Now at eight months old, Maya takes seizure medication three times a day and chemo medication four times a week to shrink existing tumors and prevent new ones from forming. Cassie doing all she can to give her daughter the best future possible. It's such a hard disease to detect and it's so, it's, they can't tell you what your child's going to be like or what's going to happen down the road because every single case is different. A mother and daughter taking the disorder day by day together as a team. I have to keep going. I mean, I don't have a choice. You know, she, she keeps me going. On the Health Watch, Alex Hoffman, KETV News Watch 7. Cassie Vincent has set up a fund at U.S. Bank to help pay for Maya's doctor's visits and trips to Cincinnati. If you'd like to donate, just visit any U.S. bank and ask for the Maya Vincent Fund. We've also posted information in this story on KETV.com.